one. What's going on, guys? My name is Julian Young. I am the host of the Blockchain Brief, where every episode we are interviewing innovators and founders in the blockchain and crypto space. Today, I am extremely, extremely excited to have Fabio Cesar Canazin, the co-founder of Nex and City of Zion. Uh, so Nex is a platform for complex, decentralized cryptographic trade and payment service creation. Fabio, it is an absolute pleasure to have you here today. Thank you for having me. It's awesome to talk to you guys. Yeah, no, of course, of course. So also joining me is actually Eric. Uh, he's our technologist in residence here. So he's going to throw you some technical questions as well. Um, so what, let's just jump right into it. Talk a little bit about your background. I mean, you've done quite a bit in the space here. Would love to hear a little bit about you, your team, and also what you're working on over at Nex. Right. So, um, okay. So like every one in blockchain, crazy ride, right? So we had this idea, we had this need of having an exchange because as you can know by the accent, I, I'm not born American, right? So I, I needed to get verified on some exchanges here and it was taking forever. And I said, okay, I'm going to do my own. And by then, I had a, a partner called Luciano. He has worked with me in blockchain before and in the startups. And we wanted to do this thing and we started to look at platforms. We found this weird thing called eShares, which had a, a cool logo and had some great ideas that we, we believe that it was really good for having a, an exchange platform. And from there, we, we saw the need for actually having you know, a bigger support for that in, in development. So we created this thing called Seed of Zion, which is a community. And this community develops on top of Neo. It is, is, is like a real open source org. And it's awesome because it has grown from nine people to thousands of people. And the output there has been great. And now it's, a, it's like a real thing, it's a foundation and so on. And from there, we, we saw that uh, was the time for, for this initial idea that we had and together with some other funders from this this open source group we founded Neon Exchange which is this vision for a platform for exchanges it's like a mouthful right like a platform for decentralized cryptograph trade so actually what we are doing is, is I try to call it a company and not only a blockchain project. So it's a company, it's a project to make trading easy and make it trading like, like it should be on blockchain. Like if you have crypto assets, if you have tokens, trading then should not be a hassle, right? It should be easy, it should be fast, it should be secure. So everything that we decided to do, like being decentralized itself is a, uh, effect of these requirements and and that's it that they have the history most of the the neo community grew together with us so we have been very blessed by that yeah no of course of course so, so are you guys like specific to neo or is this going to be um ethereum to, is going to be erc20 tokens NEP 5 tokens like talk to me a little bit about that as well yeah, so in next, we're going to build a decentralized exchange as one of the pieces on this platform. And this decentralized exchange, it has a, a technology that we call an off-chain matching engine because of, of some requirements on, on speed. And by having this, this off-chain matching engine, we saw the opportunity to actually use this server as a signaling server to other blockchains. So we are going to do a cross-chain everything. So we're gonna cross chain with Ethereum, we're gonna cross chain with Bitcoin, EOS, other platforms that we can, we, we will support. So it will initially launch with NEP5 tokens, it's spent to ARC20 tokens and whatever other standards in other places are. Got it, got it. Okay, so I mean, I know that there are a couple of other decentralized exchange projects that are out there right now. Mm -hmm. Would love to hear, you know, some differentiating factors, right? Like what makes you guys unique from you know, Ether Delta. I know everybody loves using Ether Delta. <laughs> Not right. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> I, 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 will, I will explain. Like, we are not aiming to be like we're gonna compete with them because there is a subset of the users 
but our goal actually is to facilitate trades. So we're gonna operate in a much broader market than just launching a website that tries to replace Ether Delta. That, that's not our goal. Our goal is to provide APIs, is to provide wallets, is to provide funds management systems. And behind the scenes, we're gonna use the DAX. So I, I give an example like this. If you, are, if you try to use Adapt today, like please try to use Adapt today. If you are watching this, go, go in whatever Adapt you have heard about and try to use it. You'll not be able to because you're gonna need this utility token and you don't have it. So how do you acquire that? Then you need to buy some other token to trade to this token, then send to a wallet, then send to your MetaMask extension, then you can use the application. So, so with all these hoops, that, that's why there's no usage. It's, it's, it's so cumbersome that like, if, if we that are in blockchain find this is cumbersome, imagine the other guys, right? So Next has a vision to facilitate this. So we, for example, one of our products that uses the DEX is an extension that is like MetaMask, but is also a wallet. So you already keep your tokens there. And if you are in a DAP and you try to do an action, you try to do an invocation or something that requires a token you don't have, right there, you can put a market order on the DEX from the extension to acquire that token on that instant and have the action that you wanted to do. So if you want to do a prediction in Algo, you can just enter in Algo and do a prediction, even if you don't have the Algo token. When you need it, you're gonna be able to buy it. Got it, got it, very good. And, and so I think another big problem with a lot of these decentralized exchanges now is liquidity, right? Um, yeah. So I would love your thoughts on how are, you, how are you planning on building liquidity for this? Right, so I think the problem with liquidity is because they do not serve the market that are liquidity, okay? So if you go to any market today, any modern market, let's say, uh, and, and I'm not talking about blockchain markets, um, it can be the New York Stock Exchange, can be the Sao Paulo Stock Exchange, most of the volume there is not retail trading, is not people entering in their accounts and trading, it's algorithmic trade, it's automated trade, is is market making. So there is no DEX in the market today that serves these markets. So they don't have performance, they don't have the APIs, they don't have, don't have the bandwidth to do this. Like you, you cannot run a bot for high frequency trading in Ether Delta. So there's no way these huge sources of liquidity operate on these markets. So the take we're gonna do next is we want to enable automated trading. We want to. We love bots. I say that in X, we love bots. We want to have more bots than people, okay? Because this is what brings liquidity in, in real markets. So why not in DEXs, right? Right, right. Got it. No, that makes complete sense. And so, you know, let, let's jump into the token utility, right? I, I think it's relatively straightforward. But for our viewers, would love to have you talk about, you know, why do you why do you need the next tokens? Right. So the next token is quite simply a share of the fees. So a portion of the fees goes to the holders of Next Token. To earn the share of the fees, you'll send your token to a staking contract. So your Next Tokens are locked. And the longer you keep your tokens locked in this smart contract, the higher the portion of the fees that you get. It's as simple as that. Before any question, we know this sounds like a security. Yes, it is. So we are uh, applying to be a security in Europe. We have been uh, doing this work since November now. And we're gonna apply everywhere that we need to. And we, we truly believe that the most value we, we can bring on the next token is actually sharing the profit, right? Sharing the fees. Sure. So that, that's what we're gonna do. Got it, awesome. Um, so Eric, I know that you have some tech questions that you wanna sort of direct to Fabio. So go ahead, take the floor. Yeah, well, first, I want to say, Fabio, that I really liked your more bots than people comment, because I think that's really appropriate for a project built on Neo from the Matrix. <laughs> Fair enough. And the Matrix is running in the background right now. We were watching right before our call. Oh, so yeah. it's we all... don't want to stop watching it. So we're watching it through the, the webcam. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Fabio, my main question here is that, so you said that there, the DEX is just a component of it, that there's also like an off-chain matching algorithm. So is off-chain matching algorithm, the other components, are they also decentralized or are you guys running these services? 
Yeah, so the, the way that, we, so we have a roadmap. The way we're gonna launch the off-chain matching engine is by making it provable fair. So centralize it, so Next runs it, but you, the user, can prove that Next did not misbehave. So we probably see all the others received in console and the timings of them, and the algorithm we're gonna use is FIFA, right? It's first thing first off. So this, this algorithm is deterministic. So if you have the timings in the orders, you can replay the order rules. And this way you can see that what next settles on the blockchain is actually what should be settled. Okay? So this is the first thing. We do centralize it and allow people to prove. With time, this is a distributed application, right? So it's not because it is off-chain that it should be centralized. The, the, the example I give everyone is like torrent, right? Be torrent. It's, it's not centralized, but it's not on the blockchain, right? So we're gonna do the same thing with uh, Next. We're gonna have nodes, and these nodes will be run by different people, and, but it will still be off-chain because we really need the performance to allow the bots. And so my second question, uh, for our developers out there, what do you think are the main benefits of choosing to develop uh, a Net5 token on NEO as opposed to like an ERC20 token on Ethereum? Right, oh, that, that's the tricky question, right? <laughs> Yeah, so I would say that it's case by case, okay? And Neo has some, some great features that for some applications are really important. Um, one of them is trading, so like the DEX. So if, you look at the, if you look at the consensus mechanism on, on Neo, it has a, what we call perfect finality, right? So in one confirmation, as soon as you have a block, this block is final. You, you do not need confirmations because you cannot have branches. So this is really important for a trading application because as soon as you send the settlement of a trade, you can then send the funds to the people that should have it, right? So you, you do not need to keep it for many blocks before you release it. You settle, you send it. So you can be much more certain and performant. So I would say that applications that can benefit from Neo should be using Neo. Also, the performance also. So if your application requires many transactions, so like um, you have to settle these transactions many times again. You cannot just open a channel and then close the channel in, in a week, right? So if you have to keep settling it, then Neo is also a good opportunity for you. And Last but not least, I would say that uh, there's too many ERC tokens already. Right? <laughs> yeah, so, tickers left. <laughs> yeah, so, so in a business perspective, is also important, right? To to be in a less competitive market. Well, I could go on forever, but I should probably go back to Julian. Yeah. So, Fabio, walk me through the progress, right? How far along are you guys with Next? Like, just talk about your roadmap a little bit here. Yeah, sure. So. We, we segmented the, the platform in many products. So the first product is this extension, like a replacement, a better replacement for MetaMask. And there's, there's really no answer for that in new ecosystem. So it, this should be a strong answer. And we release it today, the, the beta. So we have this extension in beta now. In two weeks, we have uh, the registration for the token sale opening, and by then, we will release the final version. So it's like a testing ground. So first, we release this extension, which is also communicates with the decks on the background, like I said on the, the example of using algo. Then we release a funds management system. So this should be like, uh, when you enter in your bank and you have all your assets there and you can monitor how, how you use it and so on, we're going to have the same thing. It's like a, imagine a coin market cap merged with, with your bank. It's like a, the nightmare for people who trade every day, right? So you're going to see it going up and down every day. And inside there, there will be an ICO platform. And this ICO platform is like a, we have this bigger vision of encompassing all these funds management and investments, right? So inside 
this funds management that will be an investing option. And in investing, in, that will be the ICO platform. And next ICO will run on next ICO platform. So we release first extension, then this thing on, on March. And two months later, one month later, we released the APIs for bots because we want, we want the liquidity to be first. And then by Q3, right, right after summer, which I hope comes fast, um, we release the retail next, which is what most people is, is waiting for, right? Sure. Yeah, so it, it's a quite busy year, let's say. <laughs> All right, Fabio, um, really quickly, last one before we let you go here. Um, talk to me about your, your token generation event, right? Because I think out of maybe 50 or 60% of my list, after we started telling, telling everyone that we were talking to you, everyone's like, oh my goodness, please, you got to talk, you got to get us some more info on this. So as much as you can divulge, that would be great. Yeah, sure. So this is actually a, a great moment to talk about that because we just released some information, right? So on March 12th, we open for registrations. What is this registration? We have been fortunate to have lots of demand for the ICO. So instead of having 40,000 people rushing in 10 seconds to buy the tokens, we decided to do a lottery. So we're going to choose 25,000 people on the lottery. And these 25,000 people will move forward with KYC. We have this lottery closing on March 30 and the results of the lottery on March 31. After that, we have one week for KYC. If you have an issue in KYC, you're gonna lose your place. And we do a second quick round, quick round of the lottery to fill this spot. Then by mid-April, we're gonna have the first round of the token sale. And the first round of the token sale will be doing a full day. So you have a full day to invest and you'll be able to invest up to a thousand dollars. So the token sale is $25 million and we're going to allow people to invest up to a thousand dollars and KYC 25,000 people. So there is expected to be left something and that, that remainder will be, running in a second round and this this second round you'll be able to invest up to nine thousand dollars Fabio, there's i'm telling you there's no way that there's going to be up to a that nine thousand dollars in the second round i would i would pe place a bet with you on that now <laughs> i believe you, you you know because it's a lottery so even if people invest with only one year they will be if they win the lottery they will be able yeah so they so they part, their part will be left, right? So Okay, so this is different from your other strategy because originally I thought you were going to hold like a Hunger Games type of contest in order. <laughs> so I'm glad this is a little bit more egalitarian at this point. <laughs> um, awesome. Fabio, this has been incredible. Chain, really, right? really, really excited about this. Obviously, we're very excited to track the progress. Is there anything else that you want to share with our, with our viewers before we sign off here? Yeah, sure. I think the most important message I want to pass is that next, uh, do not aim at the token sale, okay? So these people that participate on, on our token sale that register with us, we hope that they stay as users. And th these will be the first users, I'd say. So they will help to shape the platform. So it's an invite for people to use it, not only buy it. Uh -huh. Of course. Of course. No, Fabio, again, thank you so much for your time. Really excited to try track the progress here. And then, you know, I'm sure we'll be in touch very, very soon. Yeah, sure. Fantastic. Take care, my friend. Yeah.